I was reading Roman 15. I like to read it for all of us. Now we who are strong ought to bear the weaknesses of those without strength and not just please ourselves. Wow, that means God gave some of us more strength and some they have less even spiritual strength or even they have less strength to, or it could be me, uh, to be able to love, to be able to forgive, to be able to kind, to be kind. Now we who are strong ought to bear the weaknesses of those without strength. He said absolutely without. I thought it says less strength. Those without strength, meaning those, the way I see it, cannot even love and not just please ourselves. Each of us is to please his neighbor. And we know what Jesus said to his neighbor, your neighbor person next to you each of us it meaning each of us those who have more strength by God to please his neighbor for his good the good of his neighbor to his edification for even Christ did not please himself but as it is written the reproach of those who reproached you fell on me for whatever was written in earlier times was written for our instruction so that through perseverance and the encouragement of the scriptures we might have hope. You know, Mother Teresa said, I believe the way she said it was like this. Loneliness is the highest form of poverty. I would say hopelessness is the highest form of pain. Now when we read the scripture, we see how we can get hope. It's through scripture and also go backward and see that we are not just here to please ourselves. In some cases, the Lord gave us more strength and is not for ourselves. It's to help those who are without strength and to help those who are without hope.